Hey ladies, this is Faith and welcome back to my channel. I was listening to the intro. Welcome back to Fashion and Fitness Done Right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Today, um, today is going to be a buy or beware segment. So I'm going to ask you to just be, bear with me today. Um, I'm going to be talking with you about products that have not kept their word in the things that they say that they are and the things that they say that they do. And so we're going to briefly talk about a few things that I'm not particularly pre pleased with. I'm not particularly pleased with. Say that four times fast. Any of it, let me start out by asking you, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? You all right? The children all right? The husband's good? Husband, the wife is good? How's my grandbabies? The grandbabies all right? The grandbabies all right? If they are, give them a great hug from me. And I trust and believe that you all are really doing well. With that being said, I, again, as I said, I really want to welcome you back to the channel. I'm going to ask you to always support, support, support. Remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe, the like, and that bell notification. The bell notification basically lets you know every time I'm posting up new information, every time I'm posting up new video, okay? And um, remember to support me in on my Facebook, on my Gram, Instagram, and on my Twitter account. My Facebook, my Gram, and my Twitter account. And they all are also under the leading name of fashion and fitness done right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. As I said today, um, it's it's a little rocky for me, uh, and I'm not really one that likes to um, to you know you know say things that are kind of not you know not nice about about things or people. But the truth is, um, I think that it's like buyer beware. So that's what we're going to be talking about. But first, I want to be fair. I want you to have a little look at the fashion of the day, the outfit of the day. I don't know. I think I'm going to move this way and let you see it that way. The outfit of the day. Okay, and this is, um, it, it's faux leather, all of it's faux leather, ladies. Let me just say that, all of it's faux leather. Uh, the top I got, it's from Eloquii, but I actually bought, got it from um, Red Up. And I think I paid like maybe $16, $17 for it. I can't, I can't remember because I've had it a while. And the skirt is from Jessica London and it is, um, actually the skirt is from Ashley Stewart. I apologize. The skirt is from Ashley Stewart and it's that faux front with the everything, um, with the uh, Ponte material in the back. So they both were prepared the same way. So I said, well, maybe I'll rock it as a skirt. And then I have on my Valentino belt. I have on my Steve Madden boots and ladies, let me just say about these pantyhose. I got these pantyhose, these nets from Walmart for about nine bucks. And I've seen them on the internet selling for 40 plus, $40 or more. So I'm letting you know they came in all white, uh, black, and I think a cream. I'm just letting you know they're at Am, they're, excuse me, they're at Walmart for $9.99. All right. So um, that's the outfit of the day. My fragrance is still the one that I've been wearing from Esther Lauder. I think it's going to become my new fragrance, Beautiful Bell. It just smells like mommy. Ah, just it's a it's a lighter fragrance than some of the um, old Estee Lauder fragrances, but this is one of the more modern ones. And I just really, besides the bottle being beautiful, you know how I feel about a beautiful bottle. I just think I'm a little attached to it, and you know why. Okay, and um, uh, there are a few more things I wanted to share that were positive. The necklace that I showed you as I was modeling. This is. Um, these I got from Amazon, the necklace I got from Amazon, it is called the unity set and it is by a company called benevolence of Los Angeles. And the reason why I just wanted to talk about it, something positive had to come out of this video. The reason why I wanted to talk about it is because, and I purchased it from Amazon. Um, the benevolent of Los Angeles have teamed up with, let me look down and make sure I get the note, uh, the correction, right? Hope international charities. And they, each purchase that is made regarding this unity necklace, there is a small donation that goes towards helping poverty um, internationally, helping uh, battle poverty all around the world. So, and you know, with all that's going on, 
in Ukraine and so many other places, I think this would be a great way to support. So I thought that making mention of this particular bracelet, I don't know if the picture's still up or not, but I thought that, and it's very inexpensive, ladies. It's a beautiful bracelet, necklace set, but it's not expensive at all. And I thought this would be a great way to help support in any way that we can. All right. And moving on, um, I decided to, although today is, thank you very much, Terrific Tuesday. The candle reminded me. Terrific Tuesday. And you know, on Tuesday, no matter what we're going through, we put the H on our chest and we handle it. If it's wonderful, we celebrate it. But we will not quit. We are pushing and moving on despite whatever it is, right? And so this particular candle, you know, ladies, I love Amazon. Let me, I, I try to be, um, a per, uh, one of the people that sell the products, but apparently I didn't push them fast enough. And so I got, <laughs> I got demoted, but I told you a long time ago, if I don't see anything worthwhile trying to encourage you to purchase, I'm just not going to do it. So I get, I guess it didn't work. Anyhow, I'm going to move on from there. I wanted to talk to you about this beautiful smelling candle. Ladies, if you don't do anything else. Ooh, my in the new home my basic colors as you can see are really behind me but this particular fragrance is these are called the lulu candles first and foremost let me make mention these are called the lulu candles and they are from amazon and this particular one is number 14 it is a soy candle i know i put a picture up but let me just say it is a soy candle and this candle is of jasmine oud and sandalwood i promise you i promise you if you buy it you'll come back in the comments and you'll thank me later it will fragrant your house and this little puppy has far outweighed some that come with the three stems in it and this one only has one wick this thing is absolutely amazing it is a slow burning 100 percent cotton wick it is absolutely, it's made in the USA. It says proudly made in the USA. I love that. But it is by Lulu Candles. Two candles are approximately $40. That means you know you're getting a good, this candle, I'm going to say it again before I move on and start talking about buyer beware. This candle is absolutely amazing. I want to encourage you to purchase two because if you get purchase one, you're going to be disappointed. So if you purchase two and you put one in your living room and maybe one in um, your dining area, I wouldn't necessarily, oh, not really the dining area, around food. It, it just changes. It, scented candles are not really good to have in, in the eating area, you know? Okay. We get ready to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to the business at hand. So I want to encourage you to get this. All right. And I already have that one lit. This one I was holding on to. All right. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about in regard to buyer beware. I know that you have seen these app. Oh, I know. I was going to share. I talked to you about this particular lighter, but I, it's um, it's a um, charged lighter that you can charge, and it stems and it wicks. I apologize, ladies. I was just trying to bring something positive to, to. <laughs> to the segment before I actually started talking about buyer beware. So this also is on Amazon and it, I, it's a, a couple of bucks and it has its own charge. It charges up and it lasts for a very long time. Boom. All right. I, I want to do it because I think it's important for that, that we be made aware. Sometimes, you know, people can, you know, people take advantage of consumers and, and if we don't say anything, we have to put our foot down. You can't just do us any kind of way. That's basically what I'm saying. All right. So I know that you've seen this advertisement. Let me move over this way. I know that you've seen this advertisement around concerning this fragrance, these perfumes. And I have also. I was about to particularly buy that particular fragrance that everybody's making a big hoop about. I forgot to put the name down. Oh, boy. All, 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 I, most people are talking about this fragrance. And the day that I decided to order it, I saw the advertisement for this fragrance. And I said, okay, well, let me try it and see if I can save a few dollars and it smells exactly the same. Well, I have mine. And mine's is the Alt 
crystal number 23. And this is the particular one that is supposed to smell exactly like the fragrance that I'm talking about. I think it's Baccarat. I'll put the picture. I'll put the picture here. The fragrance that I'm talking about that it's supposed to smell like. Okay. All right. Ladies, I want to spray it now. Oh, did I spray myself already with the other fragrance? I sure did. Okay. I'm going to spray it on my hand. I think this was like $40 or a little bit over $40. It was like almost $50 or whatever. It, was, it wasn't cheap. All right, ladies. For me, I'm saying buyer beware because I don't want you to spin your coins for this. Because to me, this smells like nice roach spray. Fragrant roach spray. So I'm sharing this with you because maybe I got a bad batch. I really don't know. And in all fairness, I won't be buying another bottle. And I didn't send it back. I should have sent it back. I still have time to send it back. But I don't know what I did with the box because I immediately took it out. And I probably discarded it. But I'm going to tell you buyer beware. If you decide to purchase this, it's not too far off from a sweet smelling roach spray. All right. And I really don't have anything other to say than that. My mother was very adamant raising us that when you didn't have anything nice to say, you just didn't say anything. So moving on. All right. The next item up that um, I want to talk about where I remember it's buyer would beware doesn't mean that you may not like the item. I'm just saying to you. To just be conscious, okay? Just be aware, all right? Buyer, be aware. All right, this next item, I'm going to post the picture here. Yeah, it's called Jocelle and Company. Your fashion vision brought to life. Now, they advertised, they advertised these sneakers that I just posted. I'm going to repost them again. They advertised these sneakers and this set. I was, it just kind of, I think I was on I think it was on Facebook and it just kind of popped up, but I thought it was so adorable. And I'm, you know, those of you that have been with me a minute, you know that I'm a sneaker girl. I'm yes, pushing six, pushing, I'm in sixties, but in the number now, I still like to rock a sneaker. I like a nice crisp white sneaker. And when I saw it, I said, Oh, that would be so cute for the summer. I had my little backpack and I thought it would, and I'm making all the plans of how I'm going to try to style it and all these different things. And so, let me just say, I ordered it a while ago. It took forever and a day to come. I paid for the ship extra shipping, which I think it was just a scam because it was like an additional maybe 25, 35 cent more to expedite it. And it still didn't come until weeks later, almost a month later. And, okay, I realize I don't have you down low enough. Let me see if I can just tilt you down just a little bit so you can. That didn't make absolutely no difference, did it? All right, so I'm going to take it out of the box. Okay, so it comes in paper, and I'm going to reveal the sneakers first. Okay, tissue paper. These are the sneakers, and they're in plastic. And, ooh, they smell like pure rubber and whatever else this, this is made of. Now, don't miss me. They're absolutely adorable. Okay, but I don't think, although they're repping the name, although they're repping their name, I don't think that's who created these. And so, my bad. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes you learn from your mistakes. And so, these are the sneakers. Now, they're absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. They're too small. I ordered a size 10. They fit like a maybe a size 8 or 9. I don't know, but they're very, very small. But as you can see, they're adorable. But they're this whole thing is like rubber. I don't know if it's called, they're calling them the Air Max. They're calling them the Air Max. I hope you can see that. They're calling them the Air Max. This is the bottom. But unfortunately, 
it's it feels like it's stuffed with paper and all that i don't want to pull all that out but they both came this way and they were just wrapped in paper no box no nothing like that it just came wrapped in plastic wrapped in paper and that's the sneaker i don't want to drag this out and here's the pocketbook i mean here's the knapsack i still thought it was cute and I sent a picture to my granddaughter and I asked, because I probably won't be able to send this back. I probably won't get a refund because it took so long for it to come. And it probably will cost me more to ship, you know what I mean, to ship it back than it would to keep it. And I think this whole set was about 170 something, between 160 and 180. I can't remember the price because it's really been a while since I've been waiting for it, ladies. But I just, again, buyer beware. If it pops up on your um, if it pops up on your segment and I felt bad, I feel, you know, I'm trying, I can't even get the zipper open. I'm trying to, I'm trying, you see me fighting with the zipper. Oh Lord Jesus. Uh, this is not pretense. I'm trying to get the zipper. Oh, okay. So the zipper finally opened. All right. So there's a pouch here. My goodness. There's a pouch over here by the Nike, by the Nike swoosh. There's a, a Nike here swoosh. This is trimmed in gold. It's like a patent leather. Looks like a patent leather type gold. Here's another zipper pocket. And there's something down in here. Oh, there's a little pouch. I guess you could put like a credit card or something. It's not that big. I loved it. I thought it was cute. It smells like vinyl. It doesn't even smell like um, faux leather. It just smells like vinyl. See, it feels like vinyl here. Right here. I don't know if you can hear it. That's like a vinyl. It's like a vinyl pouch. I thought it was adorable. It's not really, it's not really faux leather. I would have to say it's um, under in the back in here in the inside of the flap. This looks like leather. Actually, it looks like leather. I don't know if it's faux leather or not, but it does look like leather. And the stamp has writing on it, but I think those are just serial numbers for the sticker. And it has one. It has one zipper pocket right there. I, you can see the zipper hanging, and then it's just empty on the inside with the with the with the um like light plastic, like vinyl type lining, and that was it. And um, I asked my granddaughter would she still want it, and she said yes, she would want it. So I'm going to give it to her. But again, I just thought that um, there was just a tad bit of mispresentation. Um, these are the straps that go on the back. No. But sometimes, and this is a habit that I have, I tell you all the time, I will see something, a picture of something, and I would like something, and I would order it. I never, a lot of times, I don't really read reveals, reviews. My husband often, often talks to me about paying attention to detail like that, and um. I should know better. I, I had to pay attention to detail for over 20 years when it came to certain things as a, as a retired police officer. I should really know better. But I, I just, when it comes to fashion, I just kind of look and shop and get what I like. And then, But sometimes things are not exactly what they give you the illusion that they are. I didn't say that this was a bad purchase. I'm just saying it wasn't what I was expecting. So, um... By fear. All right. So we're going to move on from this particular box. And this um, was Josel and Company. And I feel bad because they had a little young black lady advertising each time you go on the website. Her little face would pop up. But uh, I think maybe folks should make clear if it's not an original item. Okay. And... Now we're going to shift a little bit. We're going to be talking about one of the brands that I actually shop on quite often. And lately, since I've been trying to um, refuel my wardrobe, I've been trying to do it. I'm just checking time, guys. See where I'm at. All right. I've been trying to um, re refuel. I said refuel my wardrobe. I've been trying to rebuild my wardrobe because I gave away a lot of things in my weight in the process before I lost the weight. Now that I lost the weight, I want my stuff back. But... Uh, <laughs> No, I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it. Anyway, um Shein. 
I've been shopping on Shein and I've been finding little bits and pieces and um, I noticed that certain items that come don't look like what they say they are. I'll give you an example. Um, I'm going to show you this vest right here, right now. And this vest from Shein is a khaki long, it says it's khaki, a khaki long vest. And in the picture, it gives you the illusion that the vest is possibly of a wool textured blend. All right, so I ordered the vest, and here's the vest. And I ordered it in a 3X because I noticed that Shein is um, possibly coming from China. And you know, when you order things from China, from those different websites, you have to order them extremely large because they won't, if, they, if you order them in your actual size, they'll be too, too small. So I ordered this in a 3X here, Shein Curve. And when it came, it fits. It fits beautifully, but when I looked at them, oh, I forgot to take a picture. Maybe I'll take a picture and I'll um, put it here now at, when, I'm start, when I start editing. So if I put a picture here now, that's because after I videoed, I decided to take a picture in the outfit and um, show you. But again, I wanted you to, if you can see the detail of the material, oh my goodness, it is an absolute, it is absolutely it is not good quality at all it is not so much so that i don't think when i tried it on that it fell properly but again like i said i'm going to go and i'm going to try it on after the video and i'm going to take a picture that you may see or brief style i don't know how i don't know how i'll set it up but i'll put it here for you to see okay so this was the vest it's a long it falls a little bit above my knee i thought it was adorable in the picture the picture was a seller I was in, but when it came, the quality of this is absolutely not what I thought it would be. Okay, buyer beware. All right, and lastly, when it came to this she in orange Sherpa jacket, let me show you the picture. You see how beautiful that jacket looks? That jacket will make you think about seven different ways that you could style it, wouldn't it? Well, it sure did for me, and so, I ordered it, and again, another one that I ordered in a 3X. Okay, first and foremost, the first thing that I noticed about it, and it is gorgeous, I still will keep it. Um, it's a little big for me, but I think I'm going to keep it because the buttons that are on it that showed in the picture, there are two buttons on this side and there are two buttons on this side, but the thing about the jacket is that they have no buttonholes. So it's basically going to be a wrap. Now, I'm gonna tell you, that's going to work for me. Now, the quality of the Sherpa is very, it's very chintzy. I still like the Sherpa. I still really do like this jacket. It's just the quality of it is not there. And I can't remember what I paid for, but I thought that it should have been, because of the price of it, I thought it should have been a little better quality, okay? And... I'll probably let me let me let me take a minute and see if I can throw this on and show you what it looks like here. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm going to style it out for you. If um, I remember to do it, I'll give you about a good 30 seconds and let you see what it's looking like. Again, um, I still shop at Shein. Well, basically just for tops because it's difficult for me to pinpoint this bottom. So I'm very particular about where I shop for bottom pieces um, concerning uh, my 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 body all right and that's it ladies so again this is Shein, and i i'm not again bad mouthing anyone i'm just saying buyer beware all right with everything that we do in life i want you to have fun in your head <laughs> and you know how i feel about shopping so i'm always looking and i'm always trying to you know budget friendly always being conscious for the season woman in, in the seasoned woman of style. Season woman of style. So we're always being conscious. Ladies, that's it. I have nothing else for you today. And I sure don't want to have anything um, unpleasant to say. So, buyer, beware. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And remember that no matter what happens, it's Terrific Tuesday. Push your way through. And know that you can do all things through Christ because he has given us the strength, because great is the he, thank you, Jesus, 
that is within us than the he that is in the world. I'll see you Thursday. Have a phenomenal day, ladies.